Okay, here we have one solo on the uh, Loxodont and uh, some Broody on uh, Zetaverse. Give, uh, give me one second while I tell her to match the weight. Alright, sorry about that. I was checking our uh, me next match and tell them to uh, wait on up. But uh, here we have uh, Juan Solo on the Loxodont. Not seeing too many Loxodonts in the moment here. And then we got uh, some Rudy on the Zetterburn. Cool blue. Let's see what these do. I love the Mammoth um, <laughs> Loxodont too. But I can't. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dying over here. I can't. Really see what Juan may be doing over here. Parries the up special. I love it for some broody. But Zetaburn uh, does not matter the range, the power, the neutral that uh, Juan's going to want to throw out here. If Zetaburn's going to get in, he's going to get in one way or another. The only real thing I can see here is that axe helping Juan out here. But of course, with some good fireballs, some good meatballs, and everything. We'll have to see how well Juan can play around some Broody here. But 90% at the ledge here, not looking good from here if he can't find some way to get past his offense. Get someone up, Smash. We'll take him out. No, not quite yet, but the next hit definitely could if he's not ready for it. Remember that F2 does pull in, so gonna be Juan's good poke here if he can find it. Grabs the ledge, tries to get him with the special, but not happening. And this is top eight as well. Back air will close it out. But uh, winner semifinals, top eight. So we're just have to see what these two can do. Making it all the way from down there. I did not think him too. Catches to get up. Yes. All right. Sorry. I was checking in with the people on top eight, but just doing very well on um, one side is making the combat. But can he close it out? Is to be seen. Because we all know that shine. We all know that burn overwhelming pressure. Just because you can have an ounce of a lead does not mean you want it up against this man. He knows that that shine's coming through. the up throws. I like it here. Finding some damage. Ah, oh, too big. Try to counter him DF smash, which is too huge. Gotta be extremely careful. Parry's out. Manages to grab the ledge though, just in time. Trying to catch him out however he can here. Trying to back air him. Strong move. Avoids one down here. Can you get this? No. No, but does not get up smash too far away for Nin. Or not Nin, some Ruby. Nin, so we got next. <laughs> Extremely close round. Ruby's gonna be taking game one. But let's see what freaking game two brings, because I need to see what these awesome players are bringing out next. Alright, sorry about that, but I was making sure uh, rounds and everything going smoothly again. Bringing it to game two here. Bringing it to Adarian Force. Let's see what Juan can do here. Finds a force smash. Taking it strong. 30 seconds in. He's looking to redeem himself as a true emperor after that first round. But of course, if Lockazons can get an advantage here, it is a big. Tilts him on the platform. Waits for the get up. I like that. 
but the booties gotta come up with some answer here. Cannot let the damage just cannot let the damage rack up too much here. Now my day's trying to come with the offensive. To, gets back here, called out on jump. Just barely above. Can stomp with the immediate tech. I like the booties ready. Finds a fourth row. A Darian. Very, very small stage, so four throws are going to be even deadlier over here. Can he avoid another stomp? Meatballs are up, force doesn't go high. Rudy knows this. But how would one try to cover the next angle? But I like this shine, getting this little bit of damage. Once one throw, setting up for the fire. I like it, I like it. It's just in there. Nice. But what's the angle? Goes low again. Juan's been keeping these fireballs semi-high. Let's see how what he commits to next. Ah, uh, but the up special just too fast. I almost had to kill there. Rudy got back air, I believe. That would take out his second stock. Gotta come back from this however he can. Could be looking for up airs, could be looking for a good forward air. Whatever the man needs here. Breaks it. I like it. I don't even know what a uh, special throw does on the uh, Loctodont. This man needs to hit bears. Whatever he needs to get his setups here. Alright. Just barely kills in that four throw. Not too high of a damage here, but it can rack up extremely quickly. These forward airs keeping him in check. Almost found a back air. Oh, but Ka finally calls him out with the fireball. Forward strong. No, these up specials just keep interrupting. I don't know if it's just because Loxodon's hitbox is huge or what, but stomps a lion down. Very, very nice. A very, very nice game too there. Juan is looking to claim this game for himself. All right, game three, bringing out a new skin. Will this be what Broody needs to close this out? Let's freaking find out. Apologies, back in action. Let's go bringing it to Rockwall. A interesting choice here. Of course, plenty of platforms to make sure that uh, Rudy can get these combos. Semi smallest to medium size. So, plenty of room for the both of them here, but these platforms and these edge guards is what's really going to matter on this stage. Gets him with the back air. Nice. And I believe Rockwall has smaller side uh, blast ones as well, so great for backer from Moxodon and fourth rows for Zetaburn as well. Gets him with the forward air, extremely nice. Let's freaking go. But both of these fighters, I feel like now that's game three, I feel like both of them know what each other wants. I feel like they've warmed up to each other pretty nicely here. But we're another enemy ball. Nice. Just both of them just narrowing for life trying to find that first hit. Ah, try to get him to forward smash, but too low of a jump. But being on his platforms is going to be dangerous. Zeta burn. Grab ledge, luckily. But gets caught out. I don't know what he did there. I can't tell if he shined uh, down special whatever there. He kind of stayed in place for a second. But whatever it was, great forward strong took Broody out of this game. Looking to stomp a man out of existence again. Gets past one side special for the tech. But Broody has got to come back with some answer here. It's not looking like his game. Keeps trying to stomp him down below. One hasn't tried for any parries either. Just opting to shield the fireballs. 
making Booty fear for his life at the stage here. Gets caught with the up special, so we just seen one being hit by every single up special. And this has not been a good time for him with these. Gets him with the magma jump though. But 98 can definitely die to a well-timed move if one times it right. Finds him with the down strong catch though. Evens out the stock. But, unless Broody can make some mad damage happen here, this is not looking in his favor. Needs these back airs, needs, these, needs whatever to start something here. Just one hit. Looking good for him here. Tries to back air him, but no, not happening. Tries to spike him! Broody's bringing up the damage. Trying to land high on Zetaburn ain't too good of a move. Gets him with the back throw though. Forces out the air dodge. Oh, but he cancels at the wrong time. This is not looking good for him. Four throw. There we go. Very, very nice stomp coming out from one. Takes game freaking three. Let's go. Can he make it happen? A three one. Let's freaking find out. Yo, Vac, good to see you up on in here. You got some Zeta Burn on screen, my man. But, welcome on in, my man. You've caught us in a uh, top eight. We're in winter finals, uh, winter semifinals, so you got plenty of matches to catch, my man. I hope you're doing wonderful. But, let's get to it. Can Juan close out this set, or will Rudy find his way back to dominance? Like I said, Broody had that game one energy, but he just hasn't had it going since then. Tries to catch a roll, but not happening. But I just, like I said, I don't know if Juan's just, you know, caught on to the plan, but just ever since game one, it has just not been uh, Broody's game here. Gets him with the fourth throw. Gonna get him off stage. What's the coverage? Magma jumps. I like it. I'll oh, try to get him to back air. Trying to end this man's life in an instant. I'm on a platform where no tech. Regular gets up. Ah, oh, try to get him with the up strong. I like it, but maybe he should have opted for down strong. All right. Becker's going to be closing out the first stock of this match, but how long can Juan be holding on to it? Not very long. That's the one advantage that zeta has got going on to this, is that he can even up any matchup really quickly, but it's just about getting there. We're just seeing here, just struggling on his platforms, trying to find a right hit. Juan used him to try to shield and avoid the best he can. Again, locks it on. Landing. It's just not going good here. That's the one thing that Zetterman could definitely catch here very well. A fat, giant fat elephant landing is definitely easy prey for him. Parries out, but he grabs ledge. Nice. Once one fair. Can he find a second? Ah, uh, breaks the throw. I like it. Should have just opted for it. Punish for the slam. Let's go. Grabs an air. We've seen him do this multiple times. I love it. Gotta be extremely careful. Both hit can kill both sides here. But it looks like the backwards forward air will. I'm <laughs> trying to catch him. I like the yellow approach from Juan. Backer covering the jumps pretty well. But this is it. Last stock on both sides. If one can close this out, he will move on to winner finals.
covers the tech. I like that wait on one side, but is punished for trying to get a cheeky up to in. Just one slam. This could be extremely bad depending on how one lands here. No chumps, no nothing. Playing around these fireballs. Into a good dash attack, but not fast enough. Oh, did not up for a shield grab. There we go, a good old shine up strong. We'll take that stock right there. Where were our champions taken? Bringing it to Tempest Peak here. Very, very small stage. But these platforms could lead to some interesting mix-ups. Let's see how well they can play around this on both sides. Just give him another little cheeky forward strong, but not quite happy. These fairs juggling him at the ledge here. But the tables have turned, trying to find the up airs. One. Don't think he has another option. We'll tech. But can you get anything out of this? We'll find it back through. Just to stomp him. But it's only worked once. There to cover him out. Extending his so well. Can tell those four there or whatever there. Trying to stall for as much airtime as possible. Berries but gets caught with the down strong. I like it. The table's immediately turned. Not for long, though. Yo, Locks and Attorney pretty cool? Yeah, no. Uh, Juan is doing pretty good here, but Broody managed to bring it back this round here. Calls out the special. I like it. I think Juan has just opted to just cover. Nice. Yeah, no, Juan, every time he's gone for a forward strong at the ledge here, he's just gotten hit with the up special from Zetaburn every time. Tries to go deep with the forward air. I like it. Is forced to magma jump potentially. That's, that's what Loxodon's thing is, right? Magma. I, like, actually know next to nothing about Loxodon. I can't lie. <laughs> But Juan's been putting on a good show and display here, but Rudy has just been dominating. Do you see another parry? No. Misses it. Go so deep. Let's go. Bucks do have magma. Let's go. Yo, Nitten. Let's go. This is the last round, and you and Makeout will be uh, next. But yeah, no, like, Loxodon is the character I like, I legit see the least, so I don't even know what all this crap's called. <laughs> I know the meatball, and that's it. <laughs> back throw, tried to catch him with the back air, but the slam came in clutch. Another throw. Could opt for a forward throw here, or forward air. No. One just unfortunately perishes. Better out of a jump or just it gave into the feet. Let's go. A fantastic game of back and forth up against these two wonderful players.